since I um, I'm stationary here getting ready, I don't need my hands, so I'm using a camera down here as I get ready to take you guys with me on the ride. My trusty old heart rate monitor I'm running. I use the old style one, not the fancy premium stuff. I had the premium stuff and it failed within three months. And during those three months, I had a bunch of erroneous readings. I use the heart rate just as a gauge. I don't depend on it. Um, I used to have a power meter on a wheel, but you restricted to just the wheel if it didn't work great. So I'm waiting until they come up with a power meter that is easy to swap between bikes because I got multiple bikes. So it's a good training tool, but I can pretty much tell my feel how hard I'm going. So basically, getting my kit together. It's a hot day today, so I'm going to wear something light. These have accumulated over the years. Um, something light colored and breathable because it's going to be warm today. I'm going to have to try. I don't have too many white jerseys. I ought to get some more. But I like the, I like the uh, <coughs> SMS jersey. Sportivo Magnifico. It's a company in uh, Italy. I mean, you see the SMS on a lot of the jerseys on the guys on the podium wear. They make good stuff. I mean, it's relatively inexpensive. The materials are good, but they're made by people who are into cycling. You can tell the way they fit. I'm wearing a GoPro on here when I take you guys with me. I'll, once we leave, I'll turn it on. Um, but basically, uh, I've tried them all. I've got the Rafa stuff, which is nice. I get them only when they're on sale, because that's when their, their prices are within line, because the normal prices are a little out of hand, in my opinion. They make good stuff. Rafa makes really good stuff. They put a lot of thought into it. It's clear that there's a, that they're made by cyclists. Same with the SMS stuff. Um, SMS stands for a sporting factory in Italian, loosely translated. Sportivo Magnificio. Santini. So, they, they make good stuff. I've got one of the Santini shorts I like. Today I'm wearing my, my Eche Undo shorts. They used to support Pedro Delgado. There's a Spanish company that makes some nice stuff. If you get them online, they're reasonable. I like them because they're not common here. So, I've never seen one with anybody else. My riding partner ordered one when he saw mine. He liked it so much. Got it from Wiggle. It's on sale. About 100 bucks. It's pretty good for decent shorts. My Rafa shorts cost almost 300 retail, but I didn't buy it retail but still. It's more expensive than this. And they make, they make good stuff. But it's good to try different brands, see how they fit you. And then uh, you can set on your favorites. So I've got three favorites uh, Rafa is first as far as shorts. And the jersey, the protein, because Rafa makes all kinds of different kinds. The protein stuff, I like my jersey. As you can see, when I pull this, look, snaps. That's how you want your jersey to fit. It needs to be skin tight. So when you put a bottle in the back of your jersey, like this bottle here with my Gatorade, it's in there. It doesn't jump around. You put whatever you want in there. I usually carry my... Uh, Patch kit. I have a wallet that I got from uh, SF Bags, also known as Waterfield in San Francisco. They make some nice stuff. I like this because you can put everything in here. They didn't pay me to show that I bought this bag. I just I just like it so much. I put all my tools and everything in here, and I have this multi tool I got from a local bike shop, West End Bikes here in Houston. They have different sizes on one little thing, you know. So I got all the sizes I need. Straight edge, you know, a straight screwdriver, but I got everything from, a, I think that's a two, and it goes all the way to a six. All on one. I thought that was neat. I have that in here. Um, you never know, just in case you need to tighten something on a ride. And then I have my tube in there, and this I use for my bladed spokes. So on this ride, I probably won't need it, but I'll keep it in there. And I got my spoke wrench in here. I carry everything I think I will need. Just to be able to get home in a pinch. You know, so all of that's in there. And the cool thing about it is, you have a place for your wallet. So I have a small wallet in here that comes with the bag. I got cash and stuff in there. Cash and a card. I put that in here, that's, that stays in there. Then your phone goes in here. 
That is, that is another neat one. You don't even have to open the bag to use the phone. It will hold up to an iPhone 6 Plus. This is an iPhone 6. So any phone that will fit in there just goes in there. And you can see, boom, something on here. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to clean that off. I can use some goof to clean that off. Anyway, um, let me clean this off before I leave. Got rags in here. There's my cleaner. I use Goof Off a lot. It cleans up stuff without harming the uh, material. And you can see, boom, whatever that was, some kind of sticky residue of something it came in contact with. And that's off. I, I also keep a batch of white towels handy for wiping your chain or whatever. I don't bother washing them. They get real dirty, I throw them away. You know, it's just, uh, they're cheap. Get them in Walmart, wherever. So this will go on this side. I like to put my bottle in the middle. It just kind of anchors better. If I'm not taking a bottle, then I would put this in the middle. But this Santini jersey, now I'm equipped. So basically there's a lot of stuff, but this has my tool kit. And that's my bottle. So this is, as soon as I get an empty bottle, I take this off my back, put this on the bike. So right now, both waters are on the bike. Actually, I'm gonna put the Gatorade on the bike. So I'll drink that first. I'm gonna keep a water in here. As soon as there's an empty bottle during the ride, I swap it out and keep the empty bottle on my body. But you look to business, I mean, look at that. Packed, ready, equipped. I can go up to three hours on a day like this, almost maybe two hours 45 without having to stop for water. And that's perfect for the ride I'm doing today. Just go, you know, go and put putt around. If I don't feel like going longer, I'll shorten the ride and head back. That's the thing you gotta do. And now, socks. And since I'm riding solo, I'm going bare hands. I don't do gloves on a hot day. I don't need to. Um, it's just by choice. So this camera is near my sock drawer here. So I'm trying to try to find a lightweight pair of socks. Boom. White. Although I'm wearing orange, I don't know how it's gonna look. I like to look good on my bike. But uh, I think white will work. I want a lightweight pair of socks today. I don't think I have any other color that's lightweight. I can look in here. No wool socks today. Or maybe I can wear this blue. I don't know. This would kill a little bit. I think white will just go quite blends with everything. So white it is. I have a lot of white socks. I wear them a lot. I like the white because if I wear black shoes, I wear the white socks. There's a lot of contrast. I try to keep contrast on the moving parts. Your, your legs are moving, so the, the more contrast, the better. I'm wearing my orange shoes. These are like pylons. <laughs> I wanna make sure I'm seen. I also have a light on my bike on the back. It's a very, very bright light. I'll show you in a little bit before I head out. Um, all of this is just to make sure people know I'm serious about what I'm doing and I'm not just somebody out there lost or riding around clueless. If you look the business, people take you seriously. And, and by your actions, I don't run stop signs, I don't run red lights, you know. I don't unclip at the stop sign, but I'm experienced enough to where I can do a track stand if I need to. But I slow down, I check, I look for vehicles because I don't want to be hit. So, there ain't no, you know, nothing cool about being hit by a car. So I look both ways, just like I do when I drive my car. I, ca I get the bicycle to stop. You know, and that's important to do because you don't have to stop completely. You slow down, you check. If there's nothing there, you can go. A lot of times the drivers will wave you through anyway. But it just blast through the, the intersection, it's just suicidal. It makes no it just doesn't make sense. You know, the common sense dictates that. And this is it. This is my kit. So when this is moving, look at that. They can see my shoe, they can see my sock. And I'm ready to go.